I made these feather boards about a year ago for my router table and I thought I might be able to use them on my table saw but it turns out they just don't have the right sort of dimensions that I need for the table saw so I'm going to make some new ones. Let's get tinkering. I'm going to use this T-slot to fix the feather board and the feather board will have slots in it that allow it to move backwards and forwards along here so the widest that I want it to be from say the back to the front of the fingers is going to be about six and a half inches. Also you shouldn't have the feather board behind the blade of the table saw, it needs to be in front of the blade. So I want to make it a maximum really of seven inches in length. They're my core dimensions and I'll work everything off of those. I found this scrap piece of 18mm NDF. I'm going to use the scrappy end and I'll keep the rest for a future project. First I cut off the bit I need, then I cut it square and to size. I'm drawing the design directly on the board using a hose adapter for the corners. There are no really critical dimensions in this build. The fingers I'm placing 10mm apart. They'll be thinner than this as they're cut at 45 degrees and the curve of the blade will make them thinner still. I had intended to cut this on the table saw, but I couldn't find a safe way of doing it. I then thought, okay, I'll use my mitre saw, but it doesn't have the depth to cut this either, so I'm resorting to the band saw. The band saw has a thin blade, which is why it isn't ideal for this cut. The fingers on the feather board need space to flex. I'll fix this by widening the cut by making several passes with the band saw. I then round off the corners. Then using the flip up router table on my MFT style workbench, I cut the slots for the T-bolts. This small workbench has loads of features. I'll leave a link in the description to some videos on it. I then finish off the corners. I bought these T-nuts off Amazon and they don't fit the slot properly. Now I immediately had suspicions about the width of the slot because a viewer had mentioned that theirs was a little bit tight and if we go over to the bandsaw you can see that there's no such problem, they fit nicely. This is the method I found easiest. The T-nuts were aluminium, so it didn't take too long to adjust them to fit the table saw. I will at some point address the issue of slightly tight fitting slots, but that is for another day. Well, I've got these working now. If I measure the size of the slot, then it varies a little bit, but 18.91, 19, 18.87, 18.88, 18.95. So it's only a few hundredths of a millimetre out, but that's enough to stop it from working. These now fit in here perfectly without any issues at all. I'm going to keep the bolts this long so that I can make some more with some spacers and stack them for use with thicker material. I've just measured this test cut and the width varies by only a couple of hundredths of a millimetre along its length. That I think is pretty impressive. I couldn't do that level of accuracy just by using a push block. So for me, the feather board has made a massive difference to the level of accuracy that I can achieve on the table saw. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. It really makes a difference and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.